Being a jack of all trades is one of the greatest things about Jean's character. While she's able to output high levels of damage with her kit, she's also an incredible healer, tank, and support character. In fact, due to her kit being centered around performing every facet of Genshin combat at a high level, she makes for one of the best supports in the game. But of course, when you're good at everything, it's tough to choose one thing to focus on. And for that reason and many more, today we're going to discuss the best and most viable support builds for Jean, so that way you can tailor her to fit your team composition. Additionally, we'll take a look at weapons for building her as a support, and later we'll be discussing characters that you can play that complement Jean and that Jean complements. So why should you run Jean as a support? Jean's kit is extremely versatile, meaning that she can fit many different roles for clearing content. She can be an e-spammer, she can be an ult battery, or she can be an elemental master. If you don't need a main DPS or carry, but you're looking for a backup healer or someone to switch into to turn the tide of a fight, Jean fits that perfectly. How you build her is going to completely depend on what you need in your party though, so let's talk about which sets are good and how to choose the best one for you. First things first, let's get into sets. For the purpose of this video, we're going to split sets into Dandelion Breeze Focus sets and Gale Blade or Animo Focus sets. There are four main artifact sets we'll be using today, and we're not going to be testing them against each other, but I'm going to be talking about each one and the benefits that it gives based off of what position you want Jean to fill. The first set and the common denominator set is the Viridescent Venerer set, which with two pieces gives an Animo damage bonus of 15%, and with four pieces increases Swirl damage by 60% and decreases opponent's elemental resistance to the element infused by 40% for 10 seconds. This set is great for Jean because Animo damage affects Gale Blade and Gale Blade's on a six second cooldown, so it makes it a really great trash mob cleanup tool, as well as gets you a ton of damage. The Maiden Beloved set is a healing focused set that will help you make a healer support hybrid gene. The two piece set increases character healing effectiveness by 15%, which means that all of Jean's healing output will be increased by that much. Additionally, the four piece set makes it so that when you use an elemental skill or elemental burst, it increases the healing received by all party members by 20% for 10 seconds. None of the sets we're looking at today have four pieces of this because that kind of takes away from the support aspect of it, but it does make her an amazing healer if that's what you need her for. The third set we're going to be looking at is the Noblesse Oblige set, which with two pieces gives an elemental burst damage bonus of 20%. That's after the attack calculation, so that's going to be 20% on top of whatever damage you're already dealing. The four piece set bonus is going to make it so when you use an elemental burst, it increases all party members attack by 20% for 12 seconds, and it does not stack. This is great for Jean in a support position because you can go ahead and use Dandelion Breeze, switch into your carry, and have an attack buff while you're healing passively in the Dandelion Breeze and doing swirl damage. The fourth set we're going to be using is the Tried and True Gladiators Finale set because it gives an 18% attack bonus with two pieces, and any other set that has a two-piece bonus of 18% more attack would work in substitution for the set as well. The four-piece set only has to deal with normal attack damage, so we're not going to deal with the four-piece at all. Now that we know all of the best sets for comboing Jean, as a support, we're going to look at which one is going to best fit your team composition and how you can go ahead and choose that. For all the set combinations we use today, we use an Animo Damage Goblet, and I suggest you guys use the same. Let's talk about Dandelion Breeze oriented sets first. The first set I want to look at is the 4 Viridescent Venera set and Elemental Mastery stats. You would run this set if you don't have Venti or Sucrose, or if you have high elemental uptime on your carry, meaning you constantly have some kind of non Animo or Geo element to swirl. In my opinion, running Elemental Mastery Gene isn't that great, just due to there being better alternatives like Venti and Sucrose. Granted, a lot of players get Gene that are free to play and didn't get access to Venti, and some don't even have Sucrose either, so I can understand wanting an Animo Swirl character. The other con to this is that you actually push enemies out of your Dandelion Breeze passively, just due to the nature of how the mechanic works, so eventually they're going to get pushed out, and the only way you can bring them back in is sucking them in with Gale Blade, but luckily, Jean does have the tool for that in her E, so it is worth it if you build it right. One major upside though is that with the 4 piece set you're going to get much higher elemental damage on your carry. So if you have a physical damage carry you might be out of luck, but if you have an elemental damage carry you should definitely give it a try. The next set we're going to talk about is the 2 Veridescent Venerer and the 2 Noblesse Oblige set. This gives a 20% damage bonus to Dandelion Breeze which can be really strong. You would run this set if you truly never use Gene outside of Dandelion Breeze or if you don't have one specific carry. A lot of people advise against not having a carry, but on 
honestly, it's a single player game and you can play how you want. Some players opt to have all their characters do mid-tier damage so that way they can play them all equally. The reason this set is great for that is because it gives the 20% damage bonus to the Dandelion Breeze, which just increases the overall damage output and makes her a really great support for those other mid-tier damage characters. Of course, you also get the Animus Swirl damage, but that's going to be with every single set no matter what. It just won't be enhanced like the 4-piece Viridescent Venerer. Since you do get the Animo damage bonus, you can actually use Gale Blade pretty effectively here, and you can spam it for fall damage, of course, so it's going to be really strong either way. The next support set is going to be the Four Noblesse set, and this is the one that a lot of people recommend because it's just a good support set in general. Obviously, you get the 20% damage bonus to Dandelion Breeze, but you also get the 20% attack bonus to the rest of your team. You should definitely use this set if you really never use Jean outside of Dandelion Breeze because that's where all of your focus is going to be, and if you don't have Bennett, because Bennett is an excellent support that increases the attack of all of your team, and so if you don't have Bennett, Jean can kind of fill those shoes with Noblesse. It's also good for swapping to another carry, and keep in mind that Gale Blades will be weaker with this build because you are missing the animo damage that you get with the two Viridescent Venera set. The next support set we're going to be looking at is a support healer hybrid set. This features the two Noblesse set and the two Maiden set. You'd want to run this if you never really Gale Blade spam and if you love Dandelion Breeze heals. Using this set will net you a very low Gale Blade damage in comparison to the other sets, but you will get quite a bit of damage out of your Dandelion Breeze and quite a bit of healing out of Dandelion Breeze. This set isn't necessarily the equivalent of a full healer build. Honestly, if you were going to go full healer, I would go four piece Maiden just to be safe, but if you do need just that little tiny bit of extra healing in your team, this set might be for you. If you are going to run this set, make sure to use a healing percent circlet because that is going to help your heals massively. Now that we've talked about the Dandelion Breeze focus sets, we can talk about the Gale Blade focus sets, and these are great for people who like to do a lot of fall damage and spam their E off cooldown. The first set we're going to look at for this one is, of course, the Animal Goblet, because we have that for every set we're talking about today, and the two Viridescent Venera set and the two Gladiator set. For this set in particular, you're going to want to run Crit Damage or Crit Rate in the Last Space Circlet, just because it is more of a damage-focused build. You definitely want to use this set if you're a filthy Gale Blade abuser who loves 6 second cooldowns like me, and you should absolutely 100% use it if you have Constellation 1. Constellation 1 buffs Gale Blade damage by 40%, so it's worth using the gladiator set to increase the damage you do with your e-skill even more. Your dandelion breeze will also be very strong because you do get the 18% from gladiator and you do get the 15% animo damage bonus from viridescent venerer. For all you folks wondering, this is the set that I used to hit a 25k gale blade at the start of the video, but it was a max hit. The average hit of this is probably closer to 15k on crit with my build with c1 on gene. Either way though, it's a ton of damage. If you love your gale blades, but you also love healing, definitely go for the two-piece viridescent venerer and the two-piece made in Beloved set with a heal percent circlet. This set is excellent for running Jean as an off healer, getting big Gale Blades and Dandelion Breezes, and using Gale Blade for staggers and heals. Obviously Gale Blade isn't going to heal you, but being able to stagger things is really helpful to getting your passive heal up as Jean. Now that we've talked about all of the possible artifact sets and the pros and cons of each, we can talk about weapons. These are all on a case-by-case -case basis, but we will be giving you a comprehensive list of everything. If you're building Dandelion Breeze Spam, the best weapons for you are going to change based on your energy recharge and crit substats. As we always say, if your crit rate is at least 40% and your crit damage is at least 80%, you build crit, and if not, you don't bother with crit and you invest in full attack. If your energy recharge is low and you feel like you can't use your Dandelion Breeze as often as you want, the best weapons in order are the following. Skyward Blade, Favonia Sword, Sacrificial Sword, the Flute, which is just as good as the Black Sword depending on crit or attack percent, which is better than Lion's Roar, Skyrider Sword, Iron Sting, Harbinger of Dawn, which is about as good as the Filet Blade, depending on your crit. The main thing to keep in mind is that an attack percent stat on your weapon will net you higher damage and heals from Dandelion Breeze, but if you're low on energy recharge and can't use your Dandelion Breeze often, you're better off using something with energy recharge because the Dandelion Breeze field is extremely powerful. If you don't have problems with energy recharge, remove those weapons from the list and go with something with an attack percent or crit bonus of some sort. The order will be the same, just take out energy recharge swords. The reason we don't run a kill of Favonia or Rancor is because there isn't really a point to building physical damage over something like attack percent when you're focusing on animo. That being said, any weapon will work, you'll just see different damage numbers. For Gale Blade addicts like me using Gale Blade animo support, throw out the energy recharge and put an emphasis on crit rate. The best weapons in order are the following. The Flute, which is about as good as the Black Sword, which is better than Sacrificial Sword, Lion's Roar, Iron Sting, 
Harbinger of Dawn, which is about as good as the Filet Blade, again, based on your crit. The main reason for keeping Sacrificial Sword in this is for the ability that lets you get a reset on your Gale Blade cooldown. It's great for spam. Now that we've gone over a brief overview of weapons, we can talk about team composition. If you're running Jean support, you'll want to have a team that both complements her and that she complements. As a general rule, you don't want to double dip into areas that Jean covers, so if you're deciding to build her as a support healer hybrid, there's no need to run Bennett unless you're going for double pyro resonance, max hits, or a double healing field or debuff cleanse. That being said, it's not bad, it's just not completely necessary. Bennett will still be very strong with Jean. On the same tangent of double dipping, there's no reason to run the Animo MC with Jean, as the Animo MC's focus is both swirl burst damage and displacement, which Jean can do both of. Chong Yun, however, is an incredible pick to complement Jean. Within her Dandelion Breeze, you'll proc constant Cryo Swirl with Jean's normal attack. There's no Melt proc or anything, but it's still pretty strong. And additionally, Constellation 2 Chong Yun reduces the timer on Elemental Burst by 15% when you're standing in his Ice Field, which means that you can spam Dandelion Breeze even more if you activate it on Chong Yun's E ability. When using Klee, Jean can pick up and yeet her bombs alongside enemies to create a massive burst. Fischl gets a ton of utility in conjunction with Jean because Oz is a stationary form of Electro, which allows her to constantly swirl enemies in the Dandelion field. Additionally, picking up enemies with Gale Blade means that they can't shield themselves from the Electro pulses. If you're free to play, Jean has a lot of good utility for the main cast as well. In combination with Lisa, she can suck in enemies when Lisa's Elemental Burst repels them, forcing them to take Electro damage in Lisa's field and not have them leave the area. In combination with Amber or Xiongling, Jean can pick up both E abilities with her Gale Blade and either throw the Bear and Bunny at enemies or pick up enemies and bring them to the Bear and Bunny. My current favorite team composition actually involves Beto, Fischl, and Tartaglia, but because Jean is so flexible, she's just a great support for so many situations. With all those things in mind, you should be ready and able to pick out your support build for Jean in your team composition, and I hope this helps you decide what to run and how to best play her in this position. Now that finals are over, I'm back to making content for all of you, and I'm so excited to keep putting out more videos. So, as usual, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.